Good afternoon everyone, my name is Carla Novoa Sepulveda and I'm collection manager at the Botanical State Collection of Munich here in Germany. Today I will present on behalf of my colleagues our data pipeline for the creation of a taxonomic reference list. To start off, let's consider a well-known problem for people working in natural history collection. As you see here, I'm referring to pests regardless of how carefully the collection are managed and the need for an updated list for the pests found in the traps in collection rooms. This could be mitigated by a shared a standardized list of pests easily accessible to collection managers and curators worldwide, which however is currently not available. This is a painful gap, consider how crucial the problem is and how easier the life of collection managers would be with such a list. And so, we decide to create this list through a dedicated pipeline. And this will be the focus of this presentation, and the outline is shown on this slide. We will first look at the data pipeline, whose four steps a, B, C, and D we will explain in detail in the next slide and how the list was generated. We will then look at the metrics and see where additional information is available. Finally, we will summarize the key takeaways from this presentation. So, let's begin with the pipeline and the process of generating the list. The first stage, so step A, relies on Diversity Workbench, which is a MSQL database for research and collection data management. This system was developed by the IT Center of the ba Bavarian Natural History Collections and consists of various models. Four of these models, in particular Diversity Taxon Names, play an important role in our pipeline as you see here. Basically, the first step consolidated the list of animals and fungi found in collections. Original source from museofchedling.de, a web page established by one of our co authors and based on Pinning and Collaborators 2016. This list was expanded with additional references, including common names in both English and German for the taxa. The hierarchical classification is based on GBIF taxonomy backbone. Moreover, we use persistent identifier of both GBIF and Wikidata. Additionally, information on pest presence in natural history collection is given. We indicated the set of major natural history collections type affected, such as heritage science, life science, or earth science. As you may know, CETAF is the consortium of European taxonomic facilities. We also reported the object categories damage, for example, natural specimens themselves or artifacts, among others. As a result, the list is kept up to date and is ready to be used for IPM solution and any collection. Moving to step B, the updated list is now available to the public via the Diversity Taxon Names Reds web service for taxon list with machine readable application programming interface. As a result, the dynamic list publication service can be used as reference backbone for establishing pest recording at any natural history collection. We then have a step C, where the data is provided via the GBIF checklist data publication pipeline of the SNSB through GBIF validation tools and Darwin Core Archive for GBIF. As a result, the checklist information become part of the GBIF network with GBIF checklist bank and global taxonomy. The diversity taxon name service has currently 33 datasets, including our new list. And here you can see a screenshot of our new list on GBIF, together with the link to check it online. Currently we have 218 records, most of which are accepted names with three synonyms. It's now useful to give some statistics summarizing the list. The list consists of 80 species, both animals and fungi. In total, there are currently 162 taxa for animalia and 
52 for fungi. Of the 185 vernacular names, 97 are in German and 88 in English. This compilation mainly draws from records from the US and European natural history collections. And finally, we have a step D. Here, the diversity taxon names reps web service for taxon list is registered and made accessible through the German Federation for Biological Data Terminology Service, now called BioDB Portal, which is a project of the German National Research Data Infrastructure Initiative. As a result, the list with external persistent identifiers and other information are available as a service. Currently, this service is under development. More details about the list and its metadata, as well as the references and technical information used, are available on this page. You can find the link at the bottom of the slide. In conclusion, we presented a data management model aimed at the creating a readily accessible, free and continuously update standard pest checklist for recording in natural history collections, including persistent identifiers. The list can be improved through user feedback and is available for use by anyone, regardless of whether they have an existing collection management system. And we will continue expanding the work we presented today, for example, by incorporating decision trees for pest identification and treatment, improving the current pest list, and developing of a list of beneficial and baked organisms found in collection traps. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm happy to answer your questions about this work.